let's let's talk basketball. The Warriors they get uh two out of three wins over the uh, the last week. They're like ten and three in their last uh thirteen games or something like that. Right. Um. Uh. The the, the most recent game was a loss at home against Denver, and that was one nineteen to one oh three. Uh. In that game, uh. Man, it was it it it, it was they they were up early like fifteen points. And yeah. I, I do have a stat that I that I saw in, in the post game, and Sunday's loss against Denver was the seventh time this season the Warriors had lost a game when they led by fifteen or more points at some point during the yeah. game. So that's that that's first in the league or in the association, tied with the San Antonio Spurs. So yeah, if, if you like like if you put four of those games away. You're you're out of the uh, play in, and you're like solidly in, you know. Yeah, um, you're it's, probably it's you're rough. probably up there with 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 Dallas um, or the Phoenix Suns. I think they're like fourth and I think actually they're I'm, so I'm tight knit. This. I think I think Dallas moved down to like an eight, but they're so tight knit that like it could be changed by a game. But well, um, well, well. Here here's the standings right now. Like, so I'm I'm basically saying if you if you take four of those losses and change them into wins. Yeah. You're talking about being tied for fifth with the Kings yeah. right now. Okay. That's okay. That that's that that's where you're at. You're, you're tied. You're you're tied for fifth. Uh, the the Warriors are still you know uh, playing a lot better in recent recent weeks. And Chris Paul is on his way back. I don't know if uh, you know like he should be I, available tomorrow. He's, well, he's available for tomorrow's. If game. you're watching this show tomorrow, then he's been available today. <laughs> yeah. and the the upcoming schedule is tuesday at washington thursday at the new york knicks friday at toronto and then sunday at boston so we it's got it's gonna east be coast, a gauntlet yeah east coast swing uh yeah. right now so i think so that's washington y- you should be fine jordan pulls coming off the bench yeah um new york knicks uh, you know what they're not they're, they're not they're, as they're not a tough out i uh, you know they're, they're gonna play hard all the way to yeah. the end there toronto is they're kind of abysmal right now and then obviously Boston was, you know, the... is leading the planet right now. So yeah. So um, uh, a couple like things to, see... to note. Yeah. I, that Denver game. Does Denver remind you of the Warriors? Like maybe a three, four years ago, just like if they needed to turn it on, they'll just turn it on. Right. When KD was with the Warriors, like mm-hmm. Denver reminds me of a lot of that. And I, they, and they I... were able to turn it on. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, whenever they need to, you know, like, oh, we're, yeah. we're down. We won't be down for long, I promise you. Yeah, I mean, they're currently in the three seed right now, and they're only a game and a half out of the top seed. Uh, they they could conceivably get there, man. Like, they're six yeah. and four in their last ten. I'm just looking at the standings right now. Uh, Timberwolves and Thunder are both, like, just white hot. They're both 40 wins, 17 losses, and uh, tied for first in the Western Conference. So, so that's uh you know the, the, the Nuggets are right there. The Clippers are only a game back of the Nuggets, uh, and then you have that drop off to uh, five, six, seven, and eight seed. They're separated by a half a game. There's so, a commonality with those three teams, the top three teams. You know, yeah. you, you said uh, Timberwolves is first, right? Yeah. You've got arguably one of the best one or two guards, right? In in Ant, right? In the league right now, currently he's hot, right? You got arguably one of the best bigs in the league right now, especially on the West, right? In Carl Anthony Towns. And then you look at OKC, arguably one of the best one or two guards in, uh, say, Gilgis Alexander, SGA. Mm. And then you got Chet Holgram, which is Chet an is athletic. He's it, yeah. killing it. And then you look at three, you know, you got Jamal Murray, arguably one of the top point guards and shooting guards. And, oh, uh, you know, Jokic. Jokic. <laughs> It just seems to be a common theme, you yeah. know. I, I don't and, know, and, and all those big guys can shoot, man. Yeah, and they're athletic. I mean, yeah. to tell me Jokic isn't athletic, yeah, he does not look athletic. But I promise you, that game last night, if you watched it, he's yeah. athletic. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like like he, he keeps his six pack in the fridge, man. Uh, yeah, he, he doesn't need a six pack to be athletic. He can like, yeah, he's got moves for sure. I mean, I'm I'm not breaking any news here when I say that. Uh, well, Nikola Jokic, former MVP, I think he's gonna be pretty. I think he's pretty good. He's all right. Draymond said in his podcast that uh, I had no answers for Jokic. I mean, he absolutely outclassed me, outplayed me, hands mm-hmm. down. I had zero answers for him. And he even said, he goes, he's sneaky fast. Like, there was one point where I had to bust my ass down the line to go catch up to him because he was outrunning me. So, oh yeah, you know, a lot of, lot of uh, accommodations for that Denver team. And I, and I think they're going to be 
I mean, if the Warriors, I'm going to root for you. But if you, if it ain't going to be them, I do think Denver is going to go back. I really do. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, uh, j- just for fun, for funsies, uh, right now the Celtics have a seven and a half game lead on the Cavaliers for the for the one seed. Okay. Okay. Um. I just find it amusing that the difference between the one seed and the eight seed in the West is seven games. So the Mavericks are closer to the one seed in the eighth spot than the, the Cavaliers are to the one seed and they're in the two spot in the East. It's just, it's fun how the, uh, how the bracket shakes out sometimes. That's all. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, Let's just talk a couple of uh, NBA notes here. Uh, Steve Kerr, he got paid. He's, He's going to stick around two more years, 35 million, two year ex- extension. So 17 and a half per, and that makes him the highest paid coach in NBA history and well-deserved. I mean, and I mean, it doesn't yeah. count against the salary cap, you know, Joe Lacob doesn't go into luxury tax on Steve Kerr's money. So, uh, is that pay him pay the man six NBA finals in like 10 years. Right. Cause you lost one, you lost one to Cleveland and you lost one to uh to toronto. toronto yeah then you have four so six nba finals yep yeah i think uh, he steve, that. steve kerr's worth every penny and yeah as long as steve kerr's here steph curry's gonna be here i think uh i don't think i don't i don't even know if steph wants to play for another coach well like, steph <laughs> he noted when they asked him about steve kerr's thing he he goes i just realized that's the same length as my contract so <laughs> Oh, they might be walking out together no it might be that picture of um holding of, pinkies uh, it might be that picture of um Oh my gosh, Ninja Turtles, and they're like, oh, like with Shredder or whatever. Uh, I can't remember the 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 their or, sensei's or, name. It's not Shredder, but anyways, no, no, um, no, no, the oh, rat. I can't. Yeah, I'm yeah. Drawing a blank. But anyways, where they all like, he's got them as children, and then they're all grown up, and they're carrying him out. I can't remember his yeah. their their teacher's name, but anyways, might be like that. You know, Clay, uh, Dre, and and Steph uh, walking out with Kerr. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, go for him. Winter splinter there Fucking you go hell, i was i i loved the ninja turtles when i was a kid i was i i i, I might have impaled myself on something if i couldn't have got that like <laughs> that was gonna drive me bonkers so splinter yeah yeah, those, yeah those names are a little too similar splinter and shredder he he might walk out with all of them who knows i, I think clay's coming back for the warriors i think uh he'll do like a two-year a friendly reduced deal. price yeah yeah a one year one one player option for the second year type of deal who knows you know who knows yeah, okay so congrats steve kerr getting your bag 2027 all-star game is going to take place in phoenix reportedly and that would make it three years in a row for for the pacific division because the warriors are hosting it next year in 2025 the Clippers in their new stadium, their new arena, they're going to host it in 2026. And if have these you, reports, uh, uh, have you seen their new logo? The Clippers? Yeah, I, I was literally about to go there right oh, okay. now. Okay. Um, uh, Phoenix is also happens to be hosting the WNBA All Star Game this year in mid July, so oh, they're going to get a the little bit of a uh, test run. And there we go. That brings us I see to the note. I see. Yeah, it there it is. There's no. <laughs> I had you. I had you, bud. I got you. All right, the, so the Los Angeles Clippers new logo and the new uniforms have leaked. It feels like a like 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 some sort of um investment firm logo more than a basketball logo to me. Let, um, let me let me look it back I don't up enti- here because I, like, like I I heard the like I saw the description and everything and what 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 they were going for and what they mean. Um, I think there's worse logos out there, but I mean there's also some better logos and it just. <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not mad. It's, it doesn't look terrible. Yeah. It no, looks no, no. like the um the Christmas uniforms that they did a few years back, like the lettering and all of it, kind of looks like. So, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying there. Um, yeah. I, I will also add in that the the new uniforms also leaked along with this, and they're bringing that font back from like when we were kids. Yeah. Or whatever. Like, so I I actually really enjoyed that font. Uh, yeah, I I'm not it. I'm not um, so mad at it. Um, and so, so you're using the new, the newer shades of red and blue that they have for the team now. And, uh, but you're bringing, you're, you're trying to tie it back to the, uh, when the Clippers first came to LA from San Diego and Is there... you're, you're uh, really go- diving into the, uh, the, 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 the nautical theme. Yeah. Is their logo, their logo is a ship now. Is that correct? Basically. Yeah. And, and it's like also kind of 
forming a compass um where 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 it says los angeles where the n is in yeah. uh angeles that's actually at north and so it kind of points north like the logo kind of looks like a bear and does yeah, that it, does that mean chuck the condor is dead i don't know i doubt it i mean he don't make no sense with their new logo right you don't have a condor I don't even know how they got that as their mascot. To be honest, I, I, someone tell me they were just the doing comments. like a, a California theme, and that's you know I think I think it's just more like, you know, the California condor endangered species or whatever, and yeah, I, I think that's probably more what it was. Uh, that just me, right. j- just me riffing off of what what I think logically might have happened there. Um, I, I think Chuck's dead. Yeah, I think I, I, I think, I think, I think gonna... Chuck will stick around. I think I think they lose their mascot like the Warriors lost theirs. They just don't have a mascot because you can't have a ship be a mascot unless hold on hold on unless the ship is a mascot and then during intervals of you know timeouts or whatever or halftime that ship has cannons and it's shooting out T-shirts to the fans. Well, see, I was also thinking um, uh, in the South Park episode where Russell Crowe is fighting around the world. Um, he's got the tugboat tugger yeah. and, uh, and and he's he's his own little mascot so maybe they got their own little tugger that's um, true that could be a uh, thing mm. fighting around the world you know that's true that's true i can see that could be, could be fun uh they are la based and that's where the south park guys live and so i don't know you know they got their new arena opening and it looks interesting it like yeah. um it's another venue. It's going to be their own venue too. So they don't have to share it with two other tenants. Um, actually three, which means Billy Crystal can be actually out. sit courtside at his home arena. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Him and Jack don't have to keep trading, bet trading the seats back and forth between each other. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It looks like a, you know what it kind of looks like? It looks like, um, you know, when you find that perfect rock to skip over the water, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like anyways bit. anyway okay. i digress yeah so i guess that brings us to the end of basketball talk 